Hi everyone, welcome back. Uh, I noticed that we already missed some functions in this core functionality part, which is about the clustering module. So we are gonna start to this one, and today we are gonna learn about k-means function. This function is very important for statistic and for image processing also. In most of the times, you are gonna need some data, some clusters to be able to run your uh, functions. Most of the times, this is gonna be neural networks function. You can also check my neural networks video. You can understand what I mean in by uh, data. So, uh, in many ways, you are gonna need some clusters, some data. So, k means is giving you that one. Basically, you are just giving the data, also the uh, number of clusters, how many data kind you wanna. You are giving that input and also you giving the criteria. According to that one, it's gonna give you the uh, cluster point with the labels. And also it's gonna give you each cluster's center area with this center output. So this function is very useful. Um, instead of talking about these parameters in here, we can switch to the code part and continue in here. <coughs> First of all, to be able to run this K means we are gonna need um, some input data we need to prepare. First of all, we need to create a math type for the data and this is gonna be the data and we can create a CV math and this is gonna in uh, 100 row, um, column and it's gonna be in sorry row and also it's gonna include two columns because each uh, column is gonna be representing the axis for example uh, each row is gonna represent the point and each um, column is gonna represent the axis x and the y axis so our database is gonna continue like uh, x1 y1 and the second row is gonna be the x2 and y2 so at the end i'm gonna have a uh, 100 elements 100 data at the end i'm gonna have so i'm preparing this data first of all and uh the type also is gonna need it to be float type of type and my um math type is ready so now i need to fill this data now is all is zero inside this data. I need to fill them accordingly. I need to call RNG function. And with this RNG, I need to create first of all. And this RNG is gonna just uh, be equal to, there is a CV, um, the RNG if I'm not wrong, okay. And you can also specify uh, this RNG type by just calling fill function. And here you need to give data. I'm gonna, I want my data to be filled. And also after that, you just need to uh, type the RNG type. We can use the uniform one. And also in here, the uh, interval you need to give. Which uh, data interval I need to fill accordingly. So I'm gonna give zero and the one. So K means is working in this way also. Okay. <coughs> So basically what I did until now, I created a dummy data, which is all the zero and fill inside the data with the zero and the one. We can also see the result by just calling C out. So we can see how it looks like in the console. Okay, you see now I have 100 data and all is between zero and the one. So all is the random numbers. Okay, this is the first point. So already input data is ready, which is this one. The second one is K. K is just representing the number of the cluster. So we can uh, just specify a K is equal to three and this is done. And others is uh, labels and also the output arrays. They are can be in the math type, which is gonna be my labels and also out um, centers. Maybe we can call the other function, other name. Okay, this is the other one. Then what else I need? I need to create a term criteria. This is also a critical one. We need to call um, CV term criteria and this is gonna be, we can name uh, criteria is equal to just, um, um, we can just call also like this way, maybe just directly. And we can use the um, this one. So the type is, uh, Maybe after writing the type, we can talk about that later. 
we just need to give epc and uh, also we need to define a uh, term criteria which is the other one count if i'm not wrong yeah and or we can give not count max iteration if i'm not wrong let me check uh okay max iteration is equal to count also so okay nothing changed anyway and after that uh, this maximum count and the epsilon we need to give the these are also we can talk after specifying 0 0.2 is gonna be the better one for starting so our criteria is also now ready the next is we can call our k means function list, but let's talk about this criteria a little bit uh, if we go to the here the parameters we are giving now we choose this constructor so it's saying um, the type is just type of the determination criteria and here uh, also we are gonna back to here again maximum count is just iteration number of the this k means is, is work in working in the kernel side so epsilon is also generally given between 0 and the 1 is the 0 0.2 is the suggested one is just basically mm, uh, deciding the uh, each data uh, how much will be far from the center of the data kind of that information so we can back to here and these two parameters also uh, as written in here the desired accuracy or change in parameters at which the iterative algorithm stops so this epsilon is basically just uh, deciding when to stop the algorithm in the behind and the maximum iteration also uh, if you give both of them it will consider both of uh, the criteria if you only give epsilon it will only consider the epsilon one so this is uh, um, one of the standard uh, you can also direct use the normal constructor which is the just criteria because in here there is an empty constructor also uh, if I didn't check the constructor inside but I believe it's also using some kind of this similar to these default values okay and now we can call our k means function and uh, okay we need this one data is ready the k is ready my labels is gonna be a labels and uh, after that I need to give criteria and then I need to give my attempts attempts is uh, we can see after we can talk about the attempts after see the result but we can give th three just keep in mind the number of clusters if you give the same for the attempt number it's gonna be better for you i believe and also the other one which this k means is gonna work there are three actually there are three flex but the um random sentence which we need and uh, also centers is gonna be my last um output okay do i need something else i think it's done so this is the done uh, we already create and we call the function let's see it's gonna crash or do something or not let's run it's working fine okay now i need to visualize my output so i can understand what this k means is doing so basically i just need to create a matte image to be able to visualize <coughs> And this is gonna be just um, 500 to 500 is gonna be enough to visualize and I want a, a colorful image so three channel is, is gonna be and after that I need to uh, define my uh, background color it can be I think white is gonna be a better choice so I created my image also at the end I'm gonna sh show my um, image so output we can call and just calling image and wait key also um, okay so now uh, my output also ready so all I need to is just uh, making circle these labels and this center so I can see what this K means actually doing this is the first one and the next is uh, I just need to um, calling this data uh, so already change this data by filling and but the points are still same so I can um, make a for loop and this for loop is just gonna get the data dot rows so my rows is 100 my data is also 100 
this is my first for loop and uh, first of all I need to get my cluster ID via on this label so how I'm gonna do that for each data just calling cluster ID and it's gonna be equal to just labels dot add and since uh, it's gonna be the integer and also I just need to call I so this is gonna give me basically just the cluster label and after that um, I need to call also the point for my uh, for drawing circle for this cluster ID how I'm gonna do that I need to create a point uh, we can call this data point is equal to uh, just we can also call like this maybe and all I need is okay this X and Y is gonna be enough I think so for here we are calling Y on the data dot add again and this is gonna be this is already float type my data because I defined as a float so all I need is just the Eight row but zero column so this is gonna representing the x-axis but keep in mind these are between zero and the one so I need to make uh, a ratio for to be able to um, locate in this 500 to 500 so one is gonna be equal in this case 500 so whatever this we need to multiply by 500 so similarly for the um, y axis I need to just make here one and my point is now is just ready and after that all I need is just uh, checking the cluster ID and accordingly I need to colorize so I have already three clusters so I need to check the if the cluster ID is um, equal to um, is equal to zero the first one which it represents and after that also I'm gonna have for the other clusters this one and okay and the last one is gonna be representing two two zero one and two so if it enters here I just need to um, specify um, we can directly call our circles inside this one circle function okay in here um, I need to give my image as input data point is gonna be my center uh, my data point and radius maybe 5 is gonna be or 3 is gonna be enough and the color uh, the first one can be let's say um, yellow color and thickness um, maybe we can just calling field function so I want it to be filled and my first uh, data circle cluster circle is ready similarly I need to just copy yeah of but of course it's gonna be BGR so let's make this red color and let's make this just blue color so my uh, data point and I already make uh, draw the circles maybe we can see the result first of all is working fine or not okay so my red circles blue circles and the yellow circles let's run again <coughs> but wait um, so each time they are coming same so we need to uh, see this um, RNG function how to do that uh, it was something like state if I'm not wrong the RNG state it's before or after it's created here um, let's try together the RNG dot state if I'm not wrong is equal to uh, the we just need to give the something like tick count okay this one so this is gonna be enough this taking a parameter nothing um, let's try again because I don't want the same so okay it's changing now it was before here yellows so let's run again okay so each time my clusters are changing now so my red cluster blue cluster and the yellow cluster 
But wait, we are not yet done because um, we just uh, draw all the data circles. Okay, K means is working and giving me the correct labels. Fine. But <coughs> there are still centers in here which we didn't use. So similarly, I need to use this uh, center points also um, for that one. This centers is not going to be the same number as the data rows, data points, because if we have three clusters, I think it's going to be the three number of um, centers. So we can check first of all centers dot size. OK, sorry, dot size center start okay let's see and i'm expecting the output is gonna be two by three okay it's normal also because the first is gonna be the x and the second is gonna be the y axis of the center um we can make a for loop again and in here okay center start centers dot size and okay uh what's wrong in here uh in size okay centers dot size uh okay two by three so this should be rows of course similar to that one it cannot get the integer from there so um, after this we need to make similar to this one the center point we can call a uh, center point and i0 okay 500 is normal again so after that we can make circle but this circle can be um little bigger let's say 10 so we can easily visualize the color can be z uh, black and uh, okay so it's basically gonna give me the center points of uh, each cluster let's run the code okay um is there something wrong for this let's run again okay before it was little weird but now it seems fine uh, or it's still wrong i'm expecting these centers should be here um centers okay because it's getting the data still it should take the center of course and let's see again okay now it's it's little logical so this represent the center of the blue cluster here represent the red cluster center and here the yellow cluster center in here let's couple of try give okay so it's very fine <coughs> so at the beginning we little talk about the usage of this k means but let me little for example in my cases uh let's say you wrote a list square function or you wrote some uh classification function so you need to try that with the data right so k means is gonna give you in the 2d of course in the 2d it's gonna give you as soon as you wanna what kind of clusters you need it's gonna give you and you can put your function into uh, you can try your function inside these uh, clusters easily so it's uh, as I uh, as I can tell this is most of the time for the testing but it's a really useful function also the in the mathematics statistics this is a famous k means so uh open also already has this function so basically for this video i just wanted to talk how this works thanks for watching see you in the next videos